Hello, today <clears throat> I am going to show you how to disassemble these um, very economical, efficient um, water distiller unit, um, the top part. The reason why I need to disassemble it is because my so-called stainless steel started to get a little rusted on the side here. Um, and it doesn't really affect the water quality because I tested it and this is the outer, the outside, not the inside. So the inside it's, looks pretty good, no, no rust there. But on the outside here, which is where it's underneath the um, rubber gasket that kind of sealed the, the top cover to the to the bin um, it started to rust um, I tested the water quality using those um, you know test kit strips and there is no iron or anything in the water but for a peace of mind I want to get rid of the rust and I chose to try to disassemble this thing and I couldn't find much online. Um, so basically, you get these screws, right, um, to get the top cover off. And you get these three screws, get the top cover off. And now, I took the fan off, the fan blades off. Simple, right, just, um, these hex nuts um, and then um, you know I looked at the bottom you see these two notches here right so I guess I guess that that is soldered two kind of a uh, screws on it and then when I check the top part of the motor and there are these two um, screws that comes up that's kind of secure the, the motor onto the top plastic part. So I already took one screw out and now I'm just gonna loosen it with my hand. So just try not to drop it, but so I got one here, one here, two of these hex nuts, um, fan blade, Fan blade had a, two washers. One one is a bigger washer, and then a small little ring washer, and then that hex nut at the top. I don't know what the size of these. I think um, what is this? Eight millimeter, and then I'm guessing this is a five millimeter, something like that. Um, now as I got that out, I was thinking, do I need to take the coil out? I can't take the coil out easily. It needs some wiggle room. Um, but, let me see. There's a ground. It looks like ground. Wire there. Slide it. Maybe I should keep it there. So now, if these are loose, I don't see why this won't come off. So I need to get some space for to use a sandpaper to sand off the rust. But it's not budging. It might have some kind of a snap on. Oh, maybe there's one more here. Right, there's one more screw here. I don't know if you can see it. There's one more here. So I'm going to get that one loose. But, oh, it could be hidden from this plate. This might be blocking the soldering point. So I don't see it. Maybe that's why. So this one looks like it's the same as the 8mm one. And they are not even tight down. It's already loose. Um. 
which seems a little bit scary because you don't want that to fly off. So if this is loosened enough, I should be able to move that. Yes. Yes. I press these down. It's still kind of stuck. So now I pull it down a bit more. Oh, maybe this screw is this nut that is holding it together. No. It's a weird design. Oh, but because this is. No, he shouldn't be. Oh, there's one more. No. There's that. Oh, because this is clipping it. So, get this um, plastic bracket, cable bracket thing out. Why? Pre okay, this is a little tougher, but yeah, could definitely get this out. I think it'll be useful if I use some kind of a tool. Hmm, oh, I got a plier. There you go. Whoa. Very interesting. So that's the disassembly. So making sure that this bigger nuts goes on top of that as a base, like kind of like a washer to this hole here. So a total of three non-symmetrical triangulation of those soldered so uh, I decided to use um, vinegar and soaking that and hoping the rust will come off instead of using sandpaper um, yeah so um, I hope uh, this video is helpful please let, let me know if you guys encounter the same problem with the um, some rust collecting behind the rubber gasket on the top of the head unit um, yeah hopefully this video will help you and uh, I'll see you next time bye